Hey guys, my name is Shai. Welcome back to another yes or no pick a card reading. This time we're using the Voyager Tarot. It is pretty cool. I hope you guys like it. Go ahead and pick your pile. Pile one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number ten. Okay, card number one. Art. This is the temperance card in a regular deck. Let's see if you guys can see the details on it. Immediately I'm drawn to this beautiful rainbow. This is a yes. This is everything coming back into synchronicity was the word I heard. Back into balance, back into... It's like when you're baking a cake, you take all of these ingredients and that on their own aren't very good. Like if you've ever tried eating raw flour <laughs> or raw cocoa for that matter, you put it all in a bowl, you mix it all together, you bake it. And once it comes out of the oven, it is delicious. It is art. It has, it has been tempered. It has been transmuted into something else. So this is a yes, particularly for anybody who is wondering about some kind of complex problem. If you feel like everything has been really scattered or you've been trying to get your shit together or just too many different strands of things, don't worry about it. You have been making your art. Everything has come together. It's like you're making a collage it would be another analogy. I just feel like somebody was really scattered or just had things all over the place and you're coming along and getting it all together, getting it all in one place, uh, making art out of it. You're baking your cake out of all these different ingredients and everything is going to be much more simplified and streamlined and put together moving forward. This is a yes. Card number two. Child of Wands, Seeker. This card has lots of animals on it for anybody who this might mean something to you. We have a wolf, we have a deer, and we have a little mouse along with lots of flowers. The Child of Wands here is somebody who goes out without, goes out into the world, goes, goes out onto their journey without any precon preconceptions. They don't know what is coming for them. They're going out like a child, like an animal, just going out to experience what there is to experience. You are the seeker. This is a yes if you're starting a journey, but it is a reminder to be curious, to be open, and to understand that this is a yes to just start your journey. You don't know where that journey is going to take you. You need to be open to all possibilities. You need to be open to completely doing something you never before expected. You are the seeker. You don't have all the knowledge right now. You are just beginning something. So this is a yes to begin, but just keep in mind, you don't know where this is going to take you. You must maintain an open mind and remember that you are here to be curious and to learn. Card number three. Nine of Wands, Integrity. This person is marching along on a bridge. I almost feel like they are about to face some kind of trial. I almost feel like they are going to go up in front of some kind of council where they are going to be judged. I kind of get a no vibe off this go this one, guys. The Nine of Wands is always that embattlement. This, this person is going in there and they know they're going to have to stand alone. They're going to have to stand in their own integrity and their own authority, but it might not be enough. Um, that's all they have. That's all they have. They have their integrity and nothing else. And I feel like rough, kind of rough seas ahead. So just know, guys, that if you go down this bridge, if you enter that this room here, if you enter and go stand before this this council of judgment, I get such a vibe off of this. Somebody is about to be judged. And I have a feeling that even if you're in the right, you guys are in the right because you guys are standing in your integrity somebody's not going to necessarily necessarily believe you like th this is this is an energy of somebody being wrongfully accused and wrongfully judged wrongfully imprisoned not that i think any of you are going to prison or anything like that but it's that kind of it's that kind of energy you know you might end up in a fight with in an argument with somebody and even though you are absolutely right you are in the right they're just never going to believe you they're never going to believe you so you need to just get okay with the fact that you're going to have to let this slide, like let the external conflict go, let it go. If those people don't believe you, I mean, if it's something you can agree to disagree over, fine. But if, if this is like an ongoing conflict 
and they're going to be dragging you down. You need to let them go. So this is just, this is a really complex kind of nasty vibe. I'm going to give it a no, but you guys just remember to stand in your integrity. And as long as you're doing that, you're going to be fine. And you can navigate these external conflicts with your integrity. Card number four. Two of Cups. This is a beautiful, wonderful, yes. Equilibrium. Everything coming back into balance. Two things becoming one. This card has been coming up a lot for me the last couple of days. This is cards of reunion, of gaining your equilibrium. It is also of sitting in neutrality. Kind of taking a time out, just sitting on your couch for a day, sitting in your equanimity, finding your balance, letting the waters calm down. So this is a yes, particularly about anything to do with finding balance um, and finding calmness, finding serenity, finding serenity. That is that is the essence of this card is serenity, I would say, actually. This is a yes. Card number five. Woman of Crystals. This is a yes. This would be the Queen of Swords in a regular tarot. As you can see, it says Guardian. This is a yes, but I feel that there is some work ahead of you. There is something you need to protect, something you need to nurture, but not so much nurture physically. This is nurturing like intellectually or mentally. Like you might need to step up and really intercede for somebody on someone's behalf with your words. You might need to use your intellect and your verbal ability and your words to protect somebody. Uh, you know, almost like imagine your, your, your kid is getting like pushed around by one of their teachers and you have to go to school and really intercede on your child's behalf and make sure that, you know, the school system isn't taking advantage of your kid. Of course, if you have to argue with the school system, you need to do that verbally with your words. So yeah, if you're thinking about whether you need to intercede on someone's behalf, this is a yes. This is absolutely a yes. You are the guardian here, guys. You are the guardian. So guard whatever you need to guard. Card number six. Five of crystals, negativity. Well, that's a no. This is the five of swords. As you can see, it's just a bunch of sharp crystals here. They don't actually really look like nice crystals that we'd like to hang out with. Um... It's like a sea, anem sea anemone, anemone, you know, those sharp spiky things under the sea, uh, something if you, I feel like if you tried to put your hand on this, if you tried to get whatever you're after, if you're asking if you should go after something, if you should do something, it's going to bite back. It is. I actually just saw it, like spikes going through somebody's hand. So there is definitely something that you guys should avoid, avoid trying to get, especially if it's avoid trying to grab, don't do it. <laughs> it it's going to hurt. It's going to bite back. You're going to be bleeding. Um, this isn't, you know, it, it's like a superficial flesh wound. So don't be too worried about this either way. Um, you know, this isn't like a big disaster or anything, but there's definitely something, you know, relatively mundane that if you go after, it's just, it's going to bite back. It's going to bite back. So this is a no, don't do it guys. <laughs> Card number seven, Hierophant. This is a yes. Look at this guy, this figure standing under this moon, this half moon. This is channeling some kind of cosmic energy. I know it might be kind of hard to see, but we have def definitely Egyptian and Hindu iconography on here. We have different different representations of different spiritual traditions. Some of you are having a spiritual awakening or a reawakening or, you know, a leveling up. And this is a reminder to go with that. And to, for some of you, it's going to be important to read about ancient history. <laughs> this is, there's something I feel like if you follow your intuition and read old books or read new books about old things, if you want to deep dive into the golden age of Greece or to ancient Egypt or into ancient India, there's something as for some of you to learn there, perhaps there, you're being called to learn about a specific ancient culture because that's going to be relevant to your past lives. And there's a lesson there that 
will that applies to you now so obviously there's so many of you going to see this i can't tell you what to go after but follow your intuition on this definitely if you're feeling called to learn more about ancient history go for it because like looking back and doing an intellectual deep dive into an ancient culture i think is going to activate something inside of you and help you um help you on your spiritual journey and you're going to find something that is relevant for you in this life right now card number eight fortune this is the wheel of fortune this is just such an awesome card uh this basically means you can sit back and you feel ready to receive. There are good things coming your way, way. The wheel is turning in your favor. And I feel like as somebody needs to be ready to receive something. Maybe you've been fighting back. Maybe you feel like you don't want other people's money or you don't want other people's help. Or you you feel like you should work really hard for something. Um, and maybe you almost feel like you, you aren't worthy of receiving something unless you've worked really hard. But... The message here, guys, is it's your turn to receive something. It is your turn to take a break, to get a break. And something, either it's like going to be physical, tangible help. Like maybe somebody's going to come by and help you fix your your roof that's been leaking. Or someone's going to come by and give you some money. Maybe you're going to even get an inheritance or a job offer. There's going to basically be universal assistance coming in. And just know that, that you deserve it, guys. Don't feel like you don't deserve it or don't feel like you need to work harder to earn it and don't sit there and be all guilty about it and don't sit there and try to like don't reject the gift in so many cultures rejecting the gift uh, is actually seen as really really rude right i know in at least in my culture in canada you're almost expected to try and reject the gift um a little bit right it's like you got to do that song and dance of oh you can't give this to me oh you shouldn't have blah 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 well i know in a lot of other cultures it's really rude to reject to reject a gift. And I think that is kind of coming through here. Don't reject the gift. Receive it with both hands, palms open, open arms. Be ready to receive it, guys, because it's your turn to get a break. I love that. Card number nine. The hanged man. This is a no. A lot of the time I say that the hanged man is neither a yes nor a no. But I was immediately drawn to these rings here. And they remind me of Saturn's rings. And this whole hanged man card is pretty negative so i'm gonna just straight up give you a no on this one something is being like sucked down into a vortex i feel like this hanged man is more about clearing something out something that has been stagnant sitting around maybe you've been waiting on or working on or hoping for but it's just not for you guys it's not for you not right now and it's got to get flushed down it's got to get flushed away it's it's done it's over um and I feel like it's something that you might have to release consciously. It, it's some kind of energy. It could be an object, a person, or a place, or a habit, or a job, whatever. There's some energy that you're hanging on to, and you need to let it go. You need to let it go, and it's going to continue to sit around and bother you until you let it go. So consciously identify what that thing is and set it free. It's no longer yours. It's no longer for you. It's no longer your responsibility. I think even if it's something that you are nervous about letting go or that you think you might miss, you're going to feel so much better once you watch it float away. So let it go, guys. It's not for you. Card number 10. Three of Cups. Love. This is beautiful. This is reuniting with your soul family. I love that the subtext here is simply love. You guys are leveling up to a place where you can sit in an open heart space and give and receive love in a very fluid manner. If you're asking anything to do with reconnecting with soul family, make sure that there, this isn't, I know what I just said was a little bit misleading. This doesn't necessarily mean go back to an ex. I know so many people ask about, should I get back with an ex or is this ex going to get back to me? This isn't about that. I, only if you know for sure that that ex is like your deep, deep soul family and they have gone through the period of evolution, right? This is about connecting with people who are nothing but beneficial for you, people who resonate with you on a soul level and who are your deep, deep soul family. And really, for the most part, this card is about... um non-romantic love or non-sexual love it doesn't this isn't really about romance this is about your greater soul tribe your greater soul family just resonating with everything on that frequency of love and also just experiencing that with you know animals and nature and trees 
just sitting on a beach, absorbing the sunlight, feeling good, feeling that the universe is full of love. That is somebody is going to be experiencing first uh, for the first time that <laughs> that the universe is full of love and that it can be a beautiful place to be. So this is a yes. And I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.